Hi, Pisces. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus out for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. If you guys would like to book a $25 reading with me or just get a $10 question and answer, please feel free to comment below. I mean, not comment below. Check the comment section below. All the information that you need to book with me is there. Okay, first card out is romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Second card out is finance, finances and career. It says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And forgiving and learning. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. Engagement at the bottom of the deck. So, okay. You guys are forgiving somebody and learning from the situation. I feel like there is money involved here. Maybe you um, have just started a new job. You're looking for a new job. But you're trying to get your shit together here. I feel like you do have feelings for somebody. And you guys are ascending to a higher level of commitment with this person. Yeah. I feel like there's something about work that just isn't working. Yeah. And with the eight of uh, cups, I feel like you're almost deciding to walk away from this. Yeah. You're really guarded about something, too. Maybe this happiness that you guys can have with somebody because you still feel left out in the cold from the past. Yeah, but with the Page of Wands, this new situation is going to come in and blow your top off. Maybe it's time for you to cut this old shit out. Okay. So let's look more into it, Pisces. Oh, my back hurts. Oh. Lord knows I need a chair. I need a chair, chair. I've been sitting on a stool for three months now since I started these readings, giving you guys readings. I'm not going to have no back in a minute. Yeah. So with the Empress here, I see you guys needing to uh, focus on your own stability. I feel like this person is definitely coming back because they want to be with you. But you're guarded here. Yeah, because you were trying to move forward. You're, you're being very cold and detached towards this person. Maybe they were towards you. Yeah, so you decided to move on. Yeah, but now this person is ready to give and take with you. They want justice. They want their family back. And I feel like there's a, a lot of conflict behind that because you've already started shit elsewhere. Yeah, definitely. You might be in a whole other relationship. Definitely with this seven of swords. So you might just be fucking around with a lot of people and not really interested in this person. Or maybe it's this person that's doing it. Take it how it resonates. Okay. So let's get the outcome. All right, sir. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Outcome for Pisces, please. What is the outcome for Pisces? Two cards. All right. So I see you starting something new here. Blocking off whatever the fuck is messing with that, too. Yeah. I feel like somebody wants to reconcile, but you're focusing on this new love here. Spirit, what do you have to say to my Pisces gang? Release burdens so that you can be happy. Yeah, if this past person is not for you, they're not for you. And if they will be, then they'll show up stable in your life and make you happy. Yeah, but for now, three of pentacles. Work on whatever it is you want to work on. And shit, if it's both of them, work with both of them. Who the fuck am I to judge? Now, let's get one card from the rebel deck. Spirit, please give me one card from the rebel deck. One card from the rebel deck, Spirit. It says, get over yourself. Pull your shit together. Help people give back. Do some shit for humanity. So it's time for you to get over whatever the fuck this person did to you, okay? It's time for you to focus on yourself and get your own shit together, all right? Thank you, guys.